Hi all. In this video, we're going to see about a very important concept, which is strength duration relationship. So this question is usually asked as a diving question, but some of the components can be asked as one word questions or um, answer briefly questions also. So we'll see more about this. So what do you mean by strength duration relationship and why is it so important? So the thing is strength and duration are two important factors that determine the excitability of a tissue. So the, this graphical representation is called strength duration curve. That is the strength of the stimulus and duration of the stimulus. These are two factors that determine the excitability and the graph drawn between them is a strength duration relationship. Strength so duration let's curve. So how we can draw this so the graph. Graph so for between that or the, the relationship between the strength X of the stimuli axis, you can and have the duration the of the stimuli in volts, depicted as a graph is known as the y strength axis, duration you can curve. have the duration. So for nerve, it will be something like this. So to excite the tissue, the so lowest the strength, strength of the current required is called would be something VOBs. like this. And the minimum time for which the rio base must be applied to elicit an action potential is called we have utilization time. So, so stimulus weaker than rio base does not excite the tissue, and the stimulus stronger than rio base requires less time than the utilization time. Now this is another term called chronaxi. So chronaxi is the time required for a stimulus or double the rio base strength to produce an action potential. So usually, so chronaxi gives us a better Rio idea base. about so the excitability of the tissue. It is a minimum amount of Lesser the chronaxi, which is the excitability. So this stimulus. is a graph for okay. nerve. You now, can see that this is a graph the for the muscle. And here you uh, can see that it has greater chronaxi, which means it is lesser excitable. This minimum duration should be applied is called the utilization time. So utilization time is the minimum duration uh, for which a, a stimulus of strength R must be applied to produce a stimulus. So that is called utilization time. Now there is another term called chronaxi. So what is chronaxi? Chronaxi, it is the time that is required to produce a stimulus for a current strength double the rio base. So suppose we are giving a current strength which is double that of rio base. That is why I have depicted as 2R. So if the current strength is double the rio base, how what is the minimum duration that you have to give that stimulus so that is meant by chronaxi so these might appear a confusing term because they are new but the concept is simple so rio base is a minimum current which is required to produce a stimulus and chronaxi is a minimum time that is required to produce a stimulus when a current of twice rio base is applied so th as i said this is the curve for a nerve so suppose i'm drawing a curve for a muscle how will it be? See, we know that nerve is much more excitable than the muscle. So naturally, the curve of muscle would be something like this. Here you can see that more current and uh, more um, time would be required to excite the muscle. So this is the concept of strength duration relationship. So what is rio base? It's the lowest current strength required to excite a tissue is called rio base. What is utilization time? Minimum time for which rio base must be applied to elicit the action potential. What is chronaxi? Time required for a stimulus of double the rio base strength to cause an action potential. So what's the significance of all this? So for example, if the chronaxi is low, what does it mean? It means that the amount of time required is less, right? Which means the tissue is highly excitable. So lower the chronaxi, higher the excitability. So I hope this was useful for you. Thank you.